Hello. How is everyone? Right. Absolute bargain. Well, let's see what it is. This is a tent that I'm not going to... It might be on the thumbnail, it might not. I'm going to sort of try and leave it as a surprise, but I'm not quite sure how to do the thumbnail without... Uh, without actually showing what it is. So you'll have to watch to find out what type of tent it is. But it's a um, sill nylon, fully taped seams on the inside. It cost me £67.90 something. I'll pop the price up here uh, from Timu. Now, I've had my eye on this type of tent for quite a while, but I've always undenied. Now, this is back on Timu now at the moment, unfortunately, for £107. But what I do, I put things in my basket that I'm sort of on the fence with. And then I get the notification that it said, Mick, this tent has been reduced to £67.90 something or 80 something. Uh, it comes in, it weighs, it says on the thing, there's not a lot of details, unfortunately, on Timu about it, but it says it weighs in at 3.2 pound now that is amazing for this type of tent believe me so but i've put it on the scales so 3.2 pound is roughly 1.4 kilograms now i had this on the scales and it came in at 1.7 but it did still have some packaging in there so the scales are now at the other house if you don't know we're in between moving houses we've got about another eight days left at this property before we're fully into the other one and i was going to leave this until we were in the new house because the garden's enormous there <laughs> but, uh, and i'm not quite sure if this will actually fit in this lawn here but uh if i get get this open it's only in a drawstring sill nylon bag which is uh, the same as the material the actual tent is made of so if i just undo this i've had a quick look but i've not actually put this up i'll leave the giveaway piece until the end uh right so we have got a bag full of temp pegs if we just have a look at these temp pegs see what type of quality they are there's also dyneema guy lines in here as well very windy today so this might be in not two parts but it might you might see me doing this bit now and the next bit might be somewhere else putting the tent up uh, decent enough stakes as the americans call them uh, we call them pegs but they look a decent length i'm going to say they're nine inches maybe seven and a half stop it <laughs> but again they're in a bag which i'm gonna assume is the same material as what the tent's made out of which is a rip stop rip stop sill nylon then we have the poles or should i say the pole <laughs> this might start giving it away a little bit now uh, so it's just one, one aluminium pole, if you can see that. I'm not sure the diameter of it, it just clicks together, it's elasticated and it clicks together like that. And if I stand that up by me, just got capped ends, you can see by that one pole what the height of the tent is going to be. I'll just take that down for now. I'm not getting the actual tent out of its bag at the moment because, well, I might do, but <laughs> I'm thinking about putting it up somewhere else. Have you guessed what type of tent it is yet? Any ideas? I bet you have. It's six foot tall by the looks of it. Well, be, that might be of six and a half foot. So it's going to have a central height of six and a half foot. Now this will definitely, definitely give it away with what else it comes with. It also comes with 
Can you tell what it is yet? It also comes with a stove jack. So what can it be if it comes with a stove jack? That's right. I bought a hot tent. And it's a £67 hot tent. But so far, everything seems really good quality. Them tent pegs were good quality. Stove jack, I have absolutely no experience in. So I don't know whether that's a good quality or not a good quality. I have no idea. But like I say, £67. All in. It's a four-person octagonal hot tent. It doesn't have an inner row. You've got to buy the inner separately, which I have done, by the way. Uh, I managed to source the inner for £25. So all in, you can buy a ground sheet as well, but I'm thinking that the inner for this tent uh, should suffice, really. Um, and then obviously where your stove goes will be a grassed area or just whatever with a heat mat underneath it. It's all new to me, but I always think if you want to buy something cheap, buy winter stuff in the summer and buy your summer stuff in the winter because they're always cheaper. But like I say, if you if you do like the look of this tent by the time we finish, stick it in your stick it in your trolley in Timu and uh, let it sit there till it comes down again in price. Right, I'm gonna see how big this tent is actually on the ground whether i can get it up or not away <laughs> missus whether i can get it up or not so once i've done that i'll bring you back i'll either be here or i'll be at a different location possibly a different day <laughs> yeah i doubt very much i'm going to get this tent fitting in this garden but i just wanted to show you i've just noticed the zips i'm hoping you can see there but because they don't have a storm flap on these zips, they're the waterproof zip. I've never had a tent with them, and that looks really good. It's sort of like a rubber material. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Well, I'm impressed with the fact that it's the first time I've seen them. And uh, <laughs> I'd be more impressed if they don't leak. So these are all of the peg outlines with the tensioners on them there to pull them in tighter but it does say to peg it out loosely first um, and like I say I've just checked the seams as well and even the the reinforced pieces there they're all taped Let's try and find a bigger seam if I can just bear with us I know you're not uh, this is it oh we're getting blown off, blown all over. I want to sort this out and come back. I was fighting a losing battle there with this wind. But what I want to show you, I've just put it back in this bag. It was rolled. I've just put it in as a, a stuff. That's probably the size of a small, and it would go further, a small compact uh, sleeping bag, really. Not the same size. But obviously that is a lot lighter because uh, I always separate my pegs and poles anyway. So that's separated out. That would easy go in your backpack. No problem at all. Don't forget this is a four-person octagon hot tent. Now, I don't know the weight of the inner. There's no weights listed on that. But that will due to arrive in the next few days. So I'll update that as necessary. But I just wanted to look at this for £67. I'm going to try and get it up on the front ready and then come back and get you for a look around it once it's erected. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, I'm going to walk you around to what is the back of our house that we've lived in for a while. <laughs> Everyone thinks that's the back because of the fence, but that's actually the front. And here is. Here is the back, all overgrown, because none of this is ours. The councils are supposed to spray it. Right, have a look at this. 67 pound tent. It was a struggle getting it up in these winds, like. There we have it. 
obviously I've attached some guidelines it's only roughly pegged out because I was fighting with it but it's just to give you an idea like I said it's ripstop nylon I like them we obviously make it lighter those guy lines uh, you're pegging out points and they're all reinforced as I've only put four of the guy lines but they use other points as well as well as obviously up the top there to tie something there's your stove uh, hole jack thing uh, so should we have a look inside like I say she's got no inner at the moment and it isn't pegged brilliant because I was fighting the wind but I don't think that's a bad looking tent for its price tell me what you think obviously it'd be a lot more steady the winds because you can see it's coming that way be a lot more steady if I'd have got the pegs and everything in properly and it all tightened down let's have a look yeah like this it's like a rubberized uh, zip stopper all the way up the top now, there is no there is no stays on these vents that I can see but they seem pretty solid it's just a solid piece of material there bloody hell look at that inside let's have a look and they've even got this pole up straight have a look see if I can move that pole a bit more so it's straight that's more straight up that might have been giving me the issues so there's obviously where your pipe will go out right let me just do this Zip, this is massive. <laughs> I'm like more or less stood up. Stood up straight there, like in the inner. We'll just attach via these clips. There's a hanging light, uh, hanging hook there for a lantern. I'm sure with that clip is for the inner that I've got on order. And let me tie this door back. No. No crawling in and out of this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, what you can do with this, apparently, you can open, obviously it's got double doors, so there's also a door on that side, but I'm not gonna open it because it's gonna bring the wind all in, but you can undo this peg here and this peg here, and then you can get poles and put, put it up like a canopy. I'll put the picture on that the, the uh, that's on the thing, and you can bring it round like that. But obviously, you can open this door as well here. It's tie backs for this one as well, so you could have them both open like a wigwam. Should we do that? Let's have a look. But I mean, that door, that door there is big enough. I can't get over that. Like 1.4 kilogram. And I've still got some tie lines, uh, guy lines to tie on around there. Yeah, so there you go, guys. 67 quid hot tent. And the units cost me 25, uh, which is so separate. But uh, I think a lot of people don't even bother with an inner sometimes, do they? Just zip it up. But I'd want the inner for the, um, for the bug net. And I don't know this is just on a velcro so oh that's strong <laughs> strong velcro there we go and then the stove jack which comes with a tent will go in there and then you'll just cut it to cut it to size and obviously that that just rolls up from the bottom and goes shut there's obviously that <laughs> little hook up for it under there which is trapped under there at the moment but you can see it so that'll come off on this toggle that you can see in the silhouette and come under and tie that tie that back up and put your stove in it you know what i'm going to open this other door because i'll be taking it down and putting it away in a minute i know it's a hot tent but there's no need to get the fire brigade here wasn't that on? There we go. I'm going to turn this 
Well, it's off now anyway, the noise reduction, but yeah, it's, the wind's coming in at all directions and I haven't pegged this down very well, so I'm going to get it uh, chucked down in a way uh, before it starts pulling the pegs, <laughs> pegs out the ground because it's just one big kite at the moment. Yeah. Right, so there you go, guys. Uh, am I in the right light now? I am now, aren't I? There you are. I, I was going to leave this, but I'm going to be so busy next week. That is our final week to get moved into the new house. Plasters have been in, kitchen fitters are still in. It's still getting decorated. Uh, I think myself, I'm going to have to go over there next week and help with the decorating, just to kick it on. It's a bit like that programme, isn't it, where they have to get the house ready in so much time. Right, anyway, there you go, guys. Get it in your basket. Like I say, this is just a first look, it's not a review, this is straight out the bag and pitched up, so yeah, uh, I hope you found this informative, give it a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, please think about doing so, but don't think about it, just get on and do it. If you're already subscribed, you know you mean the world to me and thank you ever so much, all your support is really appreciated. I'll try and get this up by tonight or tomorrow, it's Tuesday today, so there you go, Tuesday the 19th I think of August, so... Right, I'm going to get it down and get it in this bag and uh, get it away before it pulls itself <laughs> out the ground. Right, until next time, in a new garden, hopefully, with something to show you. Uh, I'll show you the garden and everything, but uh, until then, love you all millions. Bye for now. Mwah!